David DeLong reports from Dubois County. The amount of Dubois County roads that have been flooded over the past month can fill up a full page and a half. But now the County Highway Department says that flooding is not only doing damage to the road, but is also preventing them from doing any regular maintenance. David DeLong tells us now what deputies are doing to try to stop these drivers. Well, avoiding a busy intersection here in Jasper in the morning means cutting through Shiloh United Methodist Church's parking lot. Now, that's not technically illegal. But it is dangerous as parents are dropping their kids off for preschool at the same time. David DeLong reports from Spencer County. Normally, drivers who violate stop arms on school buses are going the opposite way of the school bus. That's why the North Spencer School Corporation installed these cameras facing the rear of the bus. They're hoping to use them to try and stop those drivers and keep students safer. So the question remains, can you be addicted to your cell phone? <coughs> students we talk to at USI say definitely. But the mud and water that's affecting not only this field, but fields across the state is preventing farmers from getting out and doing just that. They're just getting warmed up for the ultimate air dogs competition. As you can see right now, this is Scory, and she can jump nearly 30 feet. Henderson police are looking for several guys who severely beat a man as he walked home on the city's south side. His girlfriend is hoping that witnesses will come forward and identify the suspects. Dave DeLong spoke with her. He's back now with his 14 News exclusive. Well, Randy, John Lovell is still recovering after being attacked by at least three men. His girlfriend says they're lucky there was someone there to break it up or he might be dead. Now, a warning, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. He was on his way home. He had been over to his buddy's house. John Lovell was at the corner of Powell and Julia streets when several men were having an argument nearby and jumped him. His girlfriend, Amanda Vanover, shared these pictures with us. She says Lovell was taken to the hospital with several serious injuries. He had to where his eye had popped some out of his socket. Um, he had to have stitches on the top of his head to where he got beaten with beer bottles. Um, he's got a footprint on the back of his head that is bruised of a shoe print to where they tried to stomp him in the concrete. Vanover says someone was able to pull the attackers off of Lovell. No arrests have been made, but Vanover is confident something will happen. She posted the pictures on Facebook, and it's been shared more than 1,500 times. I've gotten several phone calls, you know, but again, you know, I can't prove who it was. I was not there, you know, so I'm just hoping whoever had seen it, you know, can have a heart you know, to go to the police. That support is what Vanover hopes will end with someone in handcuffs. Who's to say there's a group of young kids and, you know, some of these people don't like the way they look, you know, and jump up on them. You know, there's kids that get out walking around here all the time. Who's to say they're not going to jump on them and kill them? And police are still looking for at least three men who jumped level. If you have any information or saw the fight, you can call police. Randy. I didn't know, like, I would, like, dress differently, but... I always knew. I just didn't know I was the same. An Evansville family threw a party for the 13-year-old type. The reason? The teenager is transitioning from a girl to a boy. Good evening. I'm Randy Moore. Jackie Moreau has the night off. The family hopes that by marking the occasion with a celebration, it'll promote acceptance and spare the child pain. Dave DeLong is here tonight with a story you'll see only on 14 News. Well, Randy, this has been a long journey for one Evansville teen, but it's really just the beginning. And tonight's party marked the first step in that journey. Balloons, food, cake, friends, and family. Sounds like a typical party, right? But this Evansville teen is celebrating something that's not that typical for a 13-year-old. It is my congratulatory party for me transitioning to be me. Eighth grader Avon Tracy, born a girl, has just begun the process to become a boy. Avon says he knew when he was five something was different and the journey thus far has created some new challenges. Not that hard for me, but it definitely is a struggle to get to all the family members and all that, but they're all supporting. When Avon asked me, what should I say, mom, when they ask if I'm a boy or a girl? Say I'm Avon. His mom, Renee, hosted the party hoping to get their story out, promote acceptance, and cut down on the high suicide rate for transgender teens. Having your child live the opposite of what they were born is better than not having your child at all. This is what happens 
90% of the time. Renee says Avon's story is one of acceptance, almost exactly like another person who recently transitioned. Caitlyn Jenner is the best thing that could have possibly happened at this point in time. It just kind of happened at the very same time. As Avon thanked his friends and family for supporting him, those closest to him say, in the end, this won't change him at all. It's normal. It's just you're having another friend hang out with you and she's a, just another guy for to hang out with, you know, nothing special. I don't really care what people say about me. Now, Renee will be starting a website soon for parents of teens who are transgender. She hopes to have that up and running next month. Randy. You're watching the five states news and weather leader. This is 14 News at 5. Brought to you in high definition by Kenny Kent Toyota, Indiana's number one volume Toyota dealer. Well, talk about a splash. One of the dive team members of Holiday World recently won a cliff diving contest. Now she's headed to a competition of a lifetime. Dave DeLong has the story from Spencer County. Well, it's hard enough for me to imagine jumping off these springboards, but now imagine jumping 70 feet in the air. That's what one Holiday World performer does on a regular basis, and she's using that to prepare her for the World Championships. And Cecil, she's got it over rigor mortis. Cecily Carter from San Antonio, Texas, is pretty good at diving. It's taken her to China, Norway, and of course, Santa Claus. Travel for free, you can't beat that. And recently, Carter competed in the Red Bull Cliff Diving Championships in Portugal. She claimed her first win on that tour, and it added a new degree of difficulty. At this competition was my first time diving off a real cliff edge, so uh, we actually went from the cliff and dove into the water. Um, towers are a lot smaller at Holiday World but the training facility here is great for me. Carter is currently tied for first in the points race in the Red Bull Cliff Diving Tour, and with dives like this one, she's hoping to take home her second straight world title. Everybody likes to win. Carter leaves for Russia and the World Championship Cliff Diving Competition on the 28th. Reporting in Santa Claus, David DeLong, 14 News.